Whenever you felt pain or stress, happiness or joy, anger or sadness, it's because the neurons in your brain, in response to an electrical pulse, have released packets of information in the form of neurotransmitters. That's it. This is the reason why people like me, who have chronic depression and debilitating anxiety, are put on a daily dose of SSRIs and NRIs. Serotonin and norepinephrine, get it? SSRIs and NRIs? Are only two of the many neurotransmitters which exist in your brain. Too much or too little of one or another, and you end up with a condition like mine. When this chick goes to this dude and tells him about how she believes that it's the pesticides being sprayed on the crops that are causing the animals to act like this. Ever watched a TV show that got your area of expertise so incredibly wrong that you can't even anymore? That's the relationship that the TV show Zoo has with science. The story goes that this guy's dad predicts the upcoming animal rebellion against humans and him and a team try to figure out why. Lions are escaping from the zoo and they attack people and cats are congregating about to attack a camp and then they run away when they call the SPCA. The dogs are luring people into alleyways and killing them. Pesticides are either through genetic modification introduced as a segment of DNA which targets the specific um, organism that targets that crop in order to cause it to die upon contact or consumption or it's a spray of a very specific molecule which interacts with a very specific organism in order to kill it or debilitate it or put it off from the scent of that crop that you're trying to protect using the pesticide. We can do an entire Science is the Tits episode just about pesticides, so tell me in the comments below if that's something that you're wanting to see. It's safe to say that this girl's theories are impossible. Unlikely, impossible. I'm going with impossible. You can't say that these pesticides are what's causing the animals to spurg out because there's no way for these pesticides to cause electric pulsation through the brain and thus affect the neurotransmitters in any way, shape, or form. I am seriously tired of this kind of paranoid misinformation getting out there. And then we all just sit around and wonder why Tara McCarthy and Jim Carrey are anti-vax advocates. Fuck you, Zoo. Get better writers. There's also a scene where these two are doing a brain scan on a lion cub and call... <sighs> they call gamma waves ultra gamma rays. Like, what is this? Like, what is an ultra gamma ray? Like, are we on Star Trek? Thank you for watching another episode of Science is the Tits. There should be a playlist down below in the description of the entire series up to date. You can hit me up on Twitter, or you can visit the website for all the social media and gaming links. I'll see you later, kid. And don't forget, in the meantime, embrace the crazy.